Thanks for tuning in to the Force Production Powerlifting for a very, very quick video on how to train yourself to get over wanting to eat more after you've eaten after a refeed. I'm doing one meal a day. And whether I'm eating a meal that's all vegetables and protein or a meal that is vegetables, protein, and carbohydrates, and it's always worse with carbohydrates. After I'm done eating, I want to eat more. I just am ravenously hungry because my, my meal is only about 1,700 to 2,200 calories. And because I'm working on maintaining my weight within, within a very small window, within a very small allowance of being over, or, being over or underweight, I have to really, really be careful. And um, it's, it's a real struggle sometimes to calm my mind down because two blocks away from me, is one of the most well-equipped gas stations you've ever seen with everything from donuts to candy bars to muscle milk to fruit to, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a virtual supermarket in a, in a gas station. And it's so tempting sometimes just to grab my keys, get in the car, and go and have a late night snack. And if you know me, uh, it, it could be, it could be uh, something that's really tough to come back from. So. Here's the key. Here's the key. For me, you've heard about letting your stomach and your mind catch up to one each other, to, to one another. Let your stomach and your mind catch up. Meaning, just wait and the hunger pains will go away. Easier said than done. But what I've been doing um, all week is I have been timing how long that that takes for my mind to calm down and so I'm asking you guys out there if you have trouble on a refeed to get yourself where, where you're gonna be finish your meal don't go back into the kitchen leave the dishes and see I leave my dishes right here I won't go back in the kitchen I will leave them right here okay I won't step anywhere near the food all right because you have to you it's, it's you have to retrain yourself so i've been timing myself and for the last four to five days uh today is number five so for the last five days um uh monday wait a minute let's see what is today today's today's uh friday yeah so so monday it took me 25 minutes after i ate for my mind to calm down then tuesday it took me 40 minutes then Wednesday, it took me 30 minutes. And then uh, uh, Thursday, it took me 25 minutes again. And then um, today, it took me 49 minutes. So if I can make it from around 25 to 50 minutes and just let my brain go crazy, just... Let it, you know, just do what you want. Just let it jump around. Let the monkey jump on my shoulder. Just put up with it for 25 to 50 minutes. It goes away. For me. I don't know how long it would be for you. But that's a suggestion to maybe battle the, the hunger beast. The sugar beast. Right? Because, uh, I, you know, I get a lot of messages that are asking me, you know, how do you just eat the one meal? Well, it hasn't been, oh, it hasn't, it's never easy, and I, and I haven't been successful the whole time. I'm just now taking it one step further. I've always known, let your, let your mind and your stomach catch up to one another. But it's like, man, you just get so blinded by the hunger that you say, well, I'll just deal with it later. I'll catch up later. I'll, tonight I'm going to have what I want to have. No. Step your game up. Step it one, take it one more step further. And once you put the fork down, mark the time down. And then occupy yourself with something. 
but be ready to know when it calms down. See, because right now, I'm cool as a cucumber. 30 minutes ago, my brain was bargaining with me. Okay? So, just to reiterate, let your mind and your stomach catch up and know that it won't last forever, that the monkey is going to be jumping on your back, but you can do it, you can make it through, set your timer, look at your clock, look at your phone, set your timer on your phone, set it aside, occupy yourself with something, go fold some clothes, you know, go get your bed ready to go to bed, or in the morning, you know, if, you, if you're eating, go, you know, go prepare for some other part of the day, but always be ready to notice when your mind calms down, okay, and get used to knowing what that time span is, and trust it, because, you know, the, it's not going to last forever, and if you can just make it through that little grace period, you should have a much better mastery over uh, the cravings and, and your brain telling you, let's, let's not stop, let's keep this party going. Because as we all know, that's a great way to fall back into old habits and that's a great way to not hit your daily goals. Okay, so let me know in the comments if this, if this idea uh, sounds good to you. Like, subscribe, share the video. Hopefully, uh, we'll pick up some new subscribers. Oh, and um, I reached 3,025 subscribers today, I believe. Let me look. Let me see where I am. I meant to say something about that. Because that's a good feeling. I'll go to my channel. And I've got 3,022 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching. Tell your friends, tell your family. Let's uh, let's let's make this let's make this country, let's make this world a little bit better at fasting and taking care of our health. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Uh, talk to you guys a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Bye.